Good morning everybody, welcome back for some more War Thunder British Tank Battles. Today is from early on in my Chieftain Mark X research, and this was a battle with my about 6.7-ish lineup and a little uh, smattering of lower tier aircraft and uh, SPAA. So I started out in my FV4202, and you can see this is the first real appearance of a T114 on the channel. It may be the only appearance of a T114 on the channel. I don't know that I'm going to necessarily get that myself. It seems like it might be fun, but I don't really have a lot of interest in it. It doesn't really have a fit in my personal lineup for a higher tier tank battle, so we'll see. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe when uh, the November sale happens. Anyway, moving up towards... Uh, going to go up and uh, investigate the back, uh, the back road here because nobody else from our team was heading over that way. So basically to cover and make sure that no wascally Wushins came down the back door there and snuck in on the A-point from our side here, I'm going to head over this way and cut them off. A little bit of a smoke screen here, which is a pretty good indicator that somebody from the enemy team was nearby, so move forward a little bit cautiously, keeping my eyes through the gunner sight to see, wait for anyone to come out up here. And as I come up to the side opening here, did a little quick sweep to make sure nobody was coming in through this way as well, and then way up ahead I spot someone coming. He missed and hit the dirt and rubble in front of me, and I got a good shot right into his ammo and took him out. And then almost immediately he got counter shot by a T-34-100. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of my team coming up the road behind me now. And you'll see even better in a moment. Now that shot looked like it hit the uh, joint between the upper and lower front plate, but I think it was just below it. But oh well. So came back in my Centurion Mark 1, marked him for the team, or Mark 3 rather. Marked him for the team and let him know he was T-4100. I was a little off on his location. Either he backed up or he was actually behind the uh, other little building there. Either way, it doesn't matter. A T-29 took him out. So using the Centurion line's blazing speed, I moved my way back up into the battle. Not exactly sure what those three were doing over there. I mean, I know obviously they were flanking, but they're pretty far away from anything useful. They end up over in the battle. They just took a long time to get there. Wasn't sure if this M46 had something he was aiming at or not, but since he moved away, it appeared that he probably sat for a moment watching for anybody to come down the road and no one was coming, so he moved off. You can see some enemies being marked on the road in between B and where the uh, the big plaza is there. And then an IS-6 kills somebody off to my left, as well as a T-54, and I can hear the IS-6 and see him shoot right here. So turn to move in and engage and possibly cure some cancer. He presented me with a pretty good shot here. Took out his commander and his loader, thought I was going to get some counterfire back, but thankfully I was able to reload and he stopped and I took out his gunner and hit some of his ammo. And now I knew I had him in a pretty good position. So again, using the blazing speed of the Centurion line, push forward, got a good shot into his engine, started him on fire, and I really had him on the ropes here. And then finished him off with a crew killing shot right through the middle. Hash nerf? No problem. As long as you can get a side shot. So then, unfortunately, that left me with a bit of a roadblock here, which means I had to go up into a bit of a more visible area, which I didn't really want to do. And again, the Centurion Mark III is just not the fastest thing out there on the battlefield. It's alright, but it's not going to get you out of danger quickly. I still like it. But trying to get up to assist with the 
B point capture and took a shot in the back and before I could get myself fully out of way. Yay for no neutral steering. Or regenerative steering or whatever. Anyway, I got hit in the back by a T-54 1947 and that took me out right through the turret. Which brings us to the Crusader AA Mark I, as featured in the video title. And you'll see why it was in the video title here shortly. So put artillery on the T-54 who took me out to harass him and mark him and maybe knock his tracks off. And then hurried my way back up to the A point which was being taken by the enemy to do whatever I could to stop them there. Probably not a lot, but at least maybe mark something and identify what's on the cap for the team. And let them know most of our team is on their point and we have a pretty big lead on taking their point away from them. But... Just in case things go horribly wrong, like a PE-8 drops a 5,000 kilogram bomb on the team, I want to be able to warn them. Turned out whatever had taken our point away was just started decapping and left, so... I decided I would just sit in the A point and not risk driving up past the field, the park there where all those enemies were. And then spotted what looked like a T-54 here, and surely it was. Hit him in his engine, his transmission, radiator, started him on fire. And then there was the other T-54 off to his left, and I knocked out his transmission radiator as well. So I've got a pair of T-54s in the back and I'm actually penetrating through them and actually kill one. And then before I can swing my gun back over to the other one and get revenge on him, he got taken out, but I did get an assist, so... Not bad. Taking out a T-54-1947 with the 40mm pom-pom gun on the Crusader AA Mark I is uh, pretty hilarious, I gotta say. Which left not a lot of enemies left at in between either capture point to threaten or stop us. And as you can see, our team finished the B point for the capture and the victory. And then it was just a matter of racing the clock to see whether I'd be able to get the A point before the tickets ran out. And I did, for a nice little score with Crusader A Mark I, and a nice little score overall, and took a first place and we won. Not an overall extremely exciting battle, but I had slightly more kills than deaths and we won the battle, so it all worked out. So there you have it. Little tiny bit of research for the Chieftain Mark 10. Not really a lot at all. Quite a ways to go on that one. But first place by 20 points, just beating out the guy with five kills. But the assist and the captures did help. And that will do it for today. Unfortunately, I didn't get revenge on the other T54, which would have been fun. But at any rate, we won, and that'll do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. We'll see you soon for more War Thunder. Thank you for stopping by and checking this one out. Have a great day, everybody.